Now for our featured story of the day. Bitcoin forecast to hit $200,000 by the end of 2025. According to the latest Bernstein report, so let's break this baby down. Check it. The price of Bitcoin can go as high as 200000 per coin by the end of next year as Bitcoin enters a new institutional era. According to an October 22nd report published by Bernstein Research. Y'all remember the Bernstein Bears as a child? That was one of my favorite book collections. But nonetheless, I think this is a different Bernstein. Their 160-page black book makes the case for why Bitcoin miners will continue to consolidate the industry. Matthew Siegel, Vanek, head of digital asset research, said in the post on X, 10 global asset managers now own $60 billion wrapped as regulated Exchange-traded funds, we know as ETFs, compared to the $12 billion and to the September 22nd, according to the report. And by the end of 2024, check this. And we expect Wall Street to replace Satoshi as the top Bitcoin wallet, I repeat, by 2024 end, meaning the end of this year in Q4, which means within the next couple of months, we expect Wall Street to replace Satoshi as the top Bitcoin wallet. We all know speculation. Satoshi holds roughly like 1.1 million Bitcoin and roughly 20,000 plus wallets. Well, they're saying Wall Street will have the majority of the Bitcoin here soon. And here you can actually see the year-to-date flows. Uh, iBit clearly leading the pack. And we got Fidelity up in here. You can see in the green, along with the iShares Ethereum Trust in the green. But anyways, Bitcoin has dominated the ETF landscape this year. The institutional FOMO, like a mofo as of January 11th, comprising six of the top 10 most successful launches in 2024, according to a post by Nate Jirasi, president of the ETF store and investment advisor. Shout out Nate the Great. Institutional analysts, including Bernstein, JP Morgan, and hedge fund vet, Paul Tudor Jones, PDJ, are increasingly bullish on the biddy ahead of the U.S. presidential election November 5th, two weeks out. Who's going to win the election? Let me know in the chat. Now, investors are turning towards gold and Bitcoin and a debasement trade as they brace for the catastrophic scenario amid rising geopolitical tension, J.P. Morgan said in the October 3rd report, quoting them here, rising geopolitical tension and the coming U.S. election are likely to reinforce the debasement trade, thus favoring both gold and Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Now, the so-called debasement trade refers to the spike in the gold demand caused by factors ranging from structurally higher geopolitical uncertainty since 2022. And just for the record, gold just hit another all-time high, it, it, close to 2,800. Right now, it's still above 2,700. So Peter Schiff is doing the shifty dance as I speak. And on October 22nd, Paul Tudor Jones, who founded Hedge Fund Tudor Investment Corporation, said he is longing the biddy and other commodities because all roads lead to inflation after the U.S. presidential election. Quoting them here, I probably have some basket of gold, Bitcoin, commodities, and NASDAQ, and I would own zero fixed income. He shared that live on Squad Box. Meanwhile, the bitty miners are poised to recover from a post-having slump in mid-2024 as the industry consolidates and cashes in on the energy demand from the AI. According to the Bernstein Bears, I mean analysts, <laughs> we expect Riot, Clean Spark, and Marathon to consolidate the Bitcoin mining industry. The Bitcoin Network April having event, April 19th, reduced the mining rewards from six and a quarter Bitcoin to three. 0.125 bitty per block. Meanwhile, the demand for the AI powered computational power is a surging. Nick Hansen, CEO of mining firm Luxor, reported said miners could earn two to three dollars per AI per kilowatt of energy expended compared to the 15 to 20 cents from the Bitcoin mining. Meanwhile, several Bitcoin miners, including Core Scientific, Hive Digital, and Hut 8, Hut Hut Hike, are embracing the AI as a secondary revenue source. But what are your thoughts surrounding Bernstein analysts? <laughs> projecting 200,000 by the end of 2025, as well as Wall Street surpassing the wallet of Satoshi by the end of this year. In Q4, I'll let you boy. And welcome everyone to the live stream. We're live and in the flesh. It's 5 p.m. here in Puerto Rico. It's 5 p.m. in New York. What's crack a lacking? Welcome and uh, welcome to the QA segment of the live stream. I'm going to do my best to read your comments out loud. Calm down and buy some of the biddy. Damn straight. Who is going to sell their biddy to the Wall Street? Only 450 are produced each day. There is no way. Wall Street will surpass 1.1 million by then. I wonder why they're so optimistic about it. Maybe collectively, because you got to fathom. BlackRock alone has probably 400-ish Bitcoin right now, right? And 
BlackRock also owns MicroStrategy, right? Shareholder. I think BlackRock's the largest shareholder. So virtually all these major companies that have a lot of Bitcoin is some way controlled or owned by BlackRock, which is Wall Street. So if you add all that Bitcoin up, they're probably accurate. Am I crazy or is that right? Let me know, family. But that's my thinking. All the Bitcoin owned by any publicly traded company, MicroStrategy, any asset manager, BlackRock, is Wall Street. Correct me if I'm wrong. So collectively, they probably are close to Satoshi Stash. Thinking about it. Let me know. There's less than 3 million Bitcoin in the exchange reserves. Miners produce 450 Bitcoin per day. Even if the ETFs bought all of that, they still fall way short of the 1.1 million Bitcoin. Well, what's the number right now if we were to collectively add up all the Bitcoin owned and controlled by all the major corporations and things controlled by BlackRock or the government? Because the government's sitting on 200,000 Bitcoin. BlackRock's sitting on like three to 400,000 Bitcoin. MicroStrategy's sitting on 250,000 Bitcoin. That alone takes us ballpark 750,000 Bitcoin. Add up all the other asset managers and all the other publicly traded. We're probably close to it. I'm just assuming. I'm thinking out loud. But that seems logical to me. Because the government is ultimately in control of all of the companies through BlackRock. Uh, can I tell if I'm still a member? You're not a member if there is no star next to your name, so your membership may have ran out. If you want to renew or get a membership, you can do so in the section in the comments on the YouTube. We appreciate all our HODL gang members, MicroStrategy members. We give away a lot of memberships. In fact, in another week, November 1st, I'll gift uh, 10 more memberships. We do every month. Thank you. Okay, perhaps you're right. Yeah, just thinking outside the box. If you add up everything, they probably are close to the number. Got to support our boy, JV. That's right. I appreciate that family. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue with the uncensored version of the pod on X and Rumble. So if you're on YouTube, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. Head on over to the Rumble, rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net. We do the after party every stream. YouTube stream ends. We continue with the stream for an additional hour, uncensored style. That's why we call it the after party exclusive on X and Rumble. So head on over to X or Rumble. And let's get ready to rumble, yo. Now I'll give everyone a couple of minutes to head on over to uh, the live stream here from the tube. Three or four percent, says Surge. Thoughts on Clean Spark Mining Company? I think miners are very bullish at a time like this, uh, especially at this timing of the cycle. If you're talking about private and public corpse ETFs, then yes, they already surpass. If you own a quarter Bitcoin, you are in the elite company. Most of the world will never be. This is so true. I think that's a great target for those new to the biddy. Become a quarter Bitcoin hodler, then become a half a Bitcoin hodler, become a three quarter Bitcoin hodler, and become a whole coiner, right? There can only ever be 21 million Bitcoin in existence, 5 million lost and gone and not moving, right? So that takes us maybe 15, 16 million, and that's being generous. And there's more than 16 million millionaires on the planet. So not even every millionaire can say I'm a whole coiner. That's the reality. 